Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael, you're watching IDB, and this is the all new Apple Watch Ultra. I've only had it for about a day, but I really am loving my time with this new watch so far. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you some secrets and hidden features of the new Apple Watch Ultra that most users don't know about. So let's go ahead right now and jump in. So now that I have it strapped on my wrist, I can show you the first feature. So the first thing is an all new exclusive dark mode. So the new watch face that comes with the Ultra is called this Wayfinder watch face. And when you are on the watch face, you can actually rotate the digital crown and it'll take you into this night mode. Now this is exclusive to the Watch Ultra and it only works on this new Wayfinder watch face. So Apple says that this is meant to ease the strain on your eyes at nighttime. And I turned this on last night and it definitely did help. I was in a pitch black room and especially if you have a full screen color watch face like this, it can be quite blinding if you turn the watch on in a dark room. So this dark mode is nice to have. I just wish that we could have it on other watch faces, but it definitely looks really cool and it is functional. So next up at number two is for the all new button on the Apple Watch Ultra. So on the left hand side now we have what's called the action button. And if I click on it, you can see I have it set up to launch the workout app, but you can also customize this even further. So let me show you. If I go into settings and then scroll down a bit, you can see we have a new option inside of preferences for the action button. Now at the top, you're able to choose what action it performs on the first click. So you can choose workout, stopwatch, waypoint, backtrack, a dive feature, and also the flashlight. I think that flashlight and workout are probably gonna be the most used ones. You also have some more customizations. So you can see I have workout selected, but we have an option here called first press. So if I just wanna launch the workout app in general, I can set it to this, but if I wanna start a specific workout when I click the button, I can also do that as well. So if I choose on start a workout, I can choose exactly what workout I wanna start. So I'll choose traditional strength training. And then if I go to my home screen, you can see with just one click of the action button, I can start a workout just like that. So next up at number three is the all new siren that is built into the Watch Ultra. And this is actually exclusive to the Watch Ultra as well. So you won't get this on the new Series 8, for example. So you can access the siren by either pressing and holding on the action button or the side button. You can see at the top of this menu, we have an option for the siren. I'll go into this menu just to show you what it looks like, but it is gonna get a little bit loud. So I'm gonna stop it there before it reaches its peak volume, but this is a really cool feature and I definitely think that this can save a bunch of lives. The one example that I came up with is think about if you're hiking up a mountain and then there's an avalanche and you happen to get buried under a bunch of snow, if you can turn on this siren to help the responders find you a lot faster, this literally could save your life. So the siren is definitely a really cool feature to have. So next up is an all new application that is for the Watch Ultra exclusively. And this is to tell you how deep you are in water. So this is the new depth application. I uh, like the way that the icon looks, it's pretty cool. So when I open it up here, it's pretty useless as I'm not underwater right now. It says to record depth submerge Apple Watch. So as soon as the Apple Watch is underwater, it's gonna know that and it's gonna be able to tell you how deep you are. So it has a depth gauge built in inside the watch and it is pretty accurate. So because this Watch Ultra has that new depth gauge and is also now twice as water resistant as the previous generation, this is gonna be a full on dedicated diving computer for a bunch of people. So next up is the all new redesigned compass application. And actually every single watch that you can update to Watch OS 9 is gonna have access to this redesigned compass. So I really didn't like the way that the compass was laid out in previous versions of Watch OS. I really think that this compass is a lot better. This may be exclusive to the Ultra, but I find that the reading on the compass is a lot more accurate. We can change up the UI if we rotate the crown, and this is also going to allow us to enable the new backtrack feature. So if I click the icon on the bottom right, I can start backtrack, and this is going to periodically track our location just in case we go off the grid and happen to get lost. And you can see even more information about your heading and location if you click the icon on the top left. And if you wanna mark your current location to remember it for later, you can use the button on the bottom left. So the next feature I wanna show you is the flashlight. And it's gonna be kinda of hard to demonstrate on video just because I'm under bright studio lighting. But because the Ultra now has a much brighter display, the flashlight is going to work a lot better. So I was in my pitch black bedroom last night and I turned on the flashlight 
and this thing completely filled the room with light. It felt almost twice as bright as my previous Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Series 7. So if you use the flashlight feature a lot on your Apple Watch, it's definitely gonna be a lot more functional on the Ultra. And we also do have some nice updates for the water lock feature. So if you go into Control Center and you turn on water lock, the first thing that you're gonna notice is you no longer have to rotate the crown to get out of water lock. Instead, you have to press and hold the crown. So I actually like the way that this works a lot better. And when you do turn off water lock, you're gonna notice that the tone that the watch plays to eject the water is a little bit different. So I'll let you hear that now. And you're also gonna notice that when the watch is ejecting water and playing that tone, you're gonna to get a little new animation on the screen as well, which I kinda of like. So the next hidden feature is the Watch Ultra now has a temperature sensor and it can take periodic measurements of your wrist temperature. Now this is primarily used for cycle tracking and women's health. It can't really do anything beyond that. And I wasn't able to find anything in the settings of the watch for the temperature sensor. However, inside of the health app on my iPhone, there's a new option under body measurements for wrist temperature. Now it looks like you have to wear the watch for at least five days before you can get enough data for the health app to show you. But once I wear this for five nights, it's going to be able to show me my baseline of my wrist temperature. So the next feature is probably the most important new feature in terms of safety, and it is car crash detection. So car crash detection is available on the Watch Ultra, the Apple Watch Series 8, and also all iPhone 14 models. So to make sure that this is turned on, go into settings and then go into SOS and make sure that crash detection is turned on right here. So it says if you're in a car crash, Apple Watch can automatically call emergency services. So this will happen 10 seconds after the crash is detected if the Apple Watch detects that you are not moving. So just like the siren, I feel like this is going to save a ton of lives in the next year. So the final hidden feature is for the battery and the long-term battery health of your Apple Watch Ultra. So I didn't even know that this was a feature until I set up my watch yesterday. So inside of settings, if you click on battery, and then battery health. There's a new option here called optimized charge limit. Now it says if you have this turned on, Apple Watch can learn your daily usage and determine when to charge to an optimized limit and when to allow for a full charge. So I really don't know how to feel about this. If I wake up in the morning and my Apple Watch is only charged up to 80 or 90%, I would be a little bit frustrated just because I use my watch so much. So I'm gonna leave this on for now, but if it does get annoying, I may have to turn it off just because I like knowing that my watch is always charged up to 100%. But if you wanna maximize the battery health of your Apple Watch, this is something you should consider turning on. So now what I want you guys to do is leave us a comment. So head down and tell us if you plan on getting the new Ultra. And if you are gonna get the new Ultra, tell us what your favorite feature is that you're most looking forward to. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, so make sure to leave us a comment. With all that said, I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. My name is Michael with IDB. I'll see you next time.